Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on the next graph, we're asked for the domain and the range. Now, again, what I've done on this graph, there's an arrow here. There's an arrow here, okay, which are important. Let's start with domain, all right? Anytime you're finding domain, you're scanning. I got my pencil going vertically, and we're scanning from left to right. Now, what this arrow means is not only does the graph drop, but it also is going further to the left, and further and further and further. And, of course, this arrow means the graph's going forever to the right, and we have everything in between, so we're spanning the entire x-axis. So the domain is going to be all real numbers, which, of course, in interval notation we write negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, the range. Whenever you're scanning for range, you should go from bottom. So notice my pen is horizontal. From bottom to the top, as far as the graph goes to the top. Well, the bottom, we're basically, you know, this arrow is telling us to drop to the abyss. So we're coming from negative infinity. Like I tell my students, we're going away from the pits of hell. That's where I want to be going away from it. So we're coming from negative infinity, but this graph does not keep going up forever. Look where it stops. It stops at this y value. That's the highest, and that would be the number what? The number 6. So my range, I'm coming from negative infinity. That's from bottom, but the top y value I pick up is 6, and of course it is included. That's why we put a bracket. And we're done.